author and international trainer, Nicholas Hill. What we need to do is to um, keep in mind that incorporating all three is going to be necessary. Now people have said, if that's so important, why don't you use PowerPoint? Exactly for the reason explained by Sylvester. Okay, if you have PowerPoints up here, where am I now? You know, you've done, yeah. you know my back's Back to you. All, always, you know, against you. And it's not, not only that, the PowerPoint presentation as well, because it's directed light as opposed to reflected light, it becomes hypnotic. Because it, what would happen in, in, in a, a Nazi interrogation, do you know the old classic scenario where they will take a light and shine it into their eyes? Okay, it's very stereotypical, I know, but hypnotic, okay? It breaks the state of, that the person is in. You want to keep that person engaged, okay? And very, very, it is, it's a very, very human interaction that we need. You don't want them to go deep into deep hypnosis and start reading off a, off a, you know, a PowerPoint where light is being projected into, the, into their eyes. I'm not saying that PowerPoint doesn't have a role, it does. You know, all, all, you know, big presentations and any, any speakers will use PowerPoint when you've got an audience that extends right to the back of the room and I can't even see the person's face. So you have to use a PowerPoint because this wouldn't work. Yeah? So, and, and it's also, PowerPoint also becomes a crutch as well. Where, it, it, you know, you rely on it. If, you, if, you're, uh, if you're a hindrance, let, if, think about the analogy of the crutch anyway. If you've got a hindrance or an ailment, you need the crutch. Something, you know, a plaster to cover over the blister like I've got on my foot. A you know, crutch supports the broken leg. PowerPoint supports the what? Speaker. The, the, the speaker, but what aspects of the speaker? It was your word yesterday. Detail. No. Lack of knowledge. knowledge. Lack of knowledge, what? Confidence. Confidence. It's speaking for you. But it also comes out to presentation style, doesn't it? Because yeah. good presenters can bring a PowerPoint to life. You know, bad presenters yes. read a PowerPoint verbatim. I, I, was yes. in a, I was in a dreadful one, I think you might be in it, Dean. Where, where, <laughs> yeah, Dean, 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 Dean was actually stood at the front. Yeah, it was only you and it. <laughs> where this was a, was a so-called uh, big hitting consultant that I happened to know did cost a lot of money and did a PowerPoint. Did, did a PowerPoint. <laughs> but number one, the PowerPoint was literally pages and pages of text, literally like A4 pages. And he was reading it line by line, oh. and he was read some of it. He was obviously reading for the very first time, oh. and I'm oh, thinking, yeah, and I, you know, oh. and he's making, and I, you know, so power it is about bringing the power. PowerPoint's going to be good if you yeah. if you yeah. can bring it to life. Yeah. Really good point. So so how can you bring it to life? If you're going to have to use PowerPoint, what do you show? Use more visual aids. Visual aids the dialogue come from you, not interaction. Okay, good. How do you do that though? How, how does the dialogue come from you instead of the PowerPoint? You can use your script and memorize yeah. the words. Okay, all right. Great interaction from it. Yeah. You use it as more as an eight yeah. memoir. Yeah. You don't go verbatim. You use First, it to PowerPoint. guide. Okay, you you there's your PowerPoint slide. That, that's the frame of your PowerPoint slide. Okay. One, two, three bullet points, a couple of pictures. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And it, all, it, all, it, all, it, all it actually acts as is just a prompt for you and, and just helps the, uh, the, the audience know where you are on the page as opposed to, you know, which page is he on? You know, one, two, three, four, five, nine? Okay, we're on this page and we discuss, and you, you will know which, which bullet you're, you're discussing because you'll keep bringing the bullet up. Or you could just have one bullet just with a title and. <clears throat> Image, image <coughs> or just have a PowerPoint with images. Yeah, that's your, that's your big V. Yeah, but recognize it's directed light and, and not reflected light. All right, do you remember the days back in, I mean, me being, you know, an ex-advertising photographer from years and years ago, do you remember tra transparencies? Yeah, yeah. yeah. acetate. 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 <laughs> exactly, okay. Great. So, well, well, okay, so uh, tr trans the transparency the, um, uh, versus the print, which is reflected light, which is directed light. Which is which? Reflected, directed. Uh, 
Uh, which, 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 which way is the light going? Yeah, the other room, just. Let's go right. Okay, there, there's that, that, you know, that's your print, that's your transparency. Right, well, light, should I slow the transparency to project it onto a wall? Transparency? Light is, tra is travelling through, that's your eye. Your eye here on the print? That's bouncing off the page. Okay, you shine a light in someone's eye, it becomes hypnotic. That's the problem. That's, what, that's the point I'm making. So this is what, you know, if you can just use flip charts, um, it's, it, it could, you've got to decide whether it's going to work for you. Yeah. you. You have to use visual aids that you feel comfortable with and you feel best represent your pitch. Not everyone likes to deliver training like this. Some people would think, no, 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 PowerPoint is always the way to go. So it's not some people's comfort zone as well. Just to stand here with a you know, and just speak. Enroll on this masterclass now to influence your output, growth, change, and culture. Enroll now at nicholashill.com or call 0345 678 9900.